Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to the first episode of Ask Me Anything, where I answer your questions that you post in the YouTube comments below. Be sure to do it for this video, too. I might answer you in the next episode. This week's winner is by Rue Jumpin' Man, who says, What is your number one recommended exercise, weighted and or plyometric, to increase your jumping power? Well, that is a very great question, and 35 other people liked it, so it uh, seems like a popular one out there. Um, before we get into it, I actually want to make sure you guys understand a little bit about biomechanics so you understand the science about what I'm talking about. So, first off, a lot of people think that uh, jumping comes down to the quads. That is not true. In fact, your shoulders and your lower back contribute more power to jumps than your quads do. What it actually is all about is the posterior chain. So the posterior chain includes the lower back, the glutes, and the hamstrings, and the calves. And that's what you need to train in order to get better at jumping. So without further ado, my number one exercise to get better at jumping is actually jumping. Uh, if you're a beginner, jumping is a skill. And in order to get better at a skill, you have to practice the skill. So broad jumps, running jumps, plyos, strides, double jumps, box jumps, vertical jumps, depth jumps, all kinds of different jumps that you can train to get better at it. Um, also, sprinting falls into the same category here. Sprints are an amazing way to get better at jumping. They're very uh, similar. Um, for those of you who are intermediate or advanced, you actually need to supplement your uh, leg training with actual exercises. So jumping is a skill, but it's also all about power. And the more power and strength you have, the better. So my number one weight training exercise is the deadlift. The deadlift has a range of motion that is most like the jump, which is one reason I like it. Um, squats go all the way down just past 90 degrees, so that's not really how you do a jump. Squats are great, but deadlifts are a little more applicable. Um, they're more about pushing back up, whereas a squat is about controlling it down and up. So I like squats for landings, deadlifts for jumping. Um, other than that, both of those are two-leg exercises, and I've actually um, noticed that there's a really a strong need for single leg training in parkour and tricking and things like that uh, because we do you know the swing through cork or the wall run or the stride or tic tacs things like this are off one foot and so we need to be strong in weird positions on one leg as well so doing weighted step ups weighted lunges and weighted split squats are all great ways to improve that um, as far as body weight exercises go my number one body weight exercise to increase your jumping power is actually called the glute ham raise. You can check that out on YouTube. I'll upload something pretty soon here. Uh, pistols are great also, and shrimp squats. All of those, you can add weight to them as you get better as well. Um, other than that, there's a bunch of miscellaneous exercises. For example, hip thrusts, sled pushes, back extensions, plyometrics in general are great to uh, increase your reaction time, actually decrease your reaction time and increase your uh, speed, your agility, and your quickness. And then power cleans and snatches are great. Um, like the deadlift and the squat, cleans and snatches are a complex bar barbell lift. So you can get hurt, it can be dangerous. Go learn from somebody who knows what they're doing so you can do those safely. Uh, last off, flexibility and mobility, especially in the ankles and the hips. Uh, jumping is all about hip extension. So the more you can extend your hips and the more flexible you are in those areas, the better. Um, I think that pretty much sums it up. If you've got any questions, uh, just post it up below. I'll clarify for you and post up your next questions for next week's episode. Uh, it could be something completely different. Just let me know what you want to learn about and I will uh, see you guys next week.